Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and in this video I'd like to show you how you can delete VMware vCenter server extensions. It's the first time we're actually recording voice on the clip, so hit that uh, big thumbs up button or give us a comment. We sure need all your support. As you probably seen in the previous video, we just upgraded our production vSphere infrastructure from a 6.7 to 7.0. Now, we were actually expecting some of the plugins for not being compatible out of the box. We are actually receiving some alerts regarding the OpenStack vCenter server extension. We were expecting this one for not being compatible again, and uh, we would like to show you how you can actually delete those extensions if you're no longer using them. So what you'll have to do is log into your VMware vCenter server, vSphere client. You will need to go to the menu tab and hit the administration button. Now, under the administration button, in the middle part of the screen, you can see solutions and client plugins. I was expecting, again, a couple of plugins, and VMware actually shows us the OpenStack plugins and a couple of extensions that uh, needs to be deleted. Two of them are failed, and one is compatible with the latest version of, uh, of VMware vCenter server, in our case 7.0. So let's check how we are able to delete them from, from this view. Now, VMware exposes another console, so if you navigate to your VMware vCenter server FQDN and type MOB at the end, uh, it will allow you to go to this particular view. Now, this is a managed object browser, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to the content and you will have to find under the properties extension manager. So in my particular example, I have it right here. Now, if you go to the extension manager, you will be able to see all the extensions that are currently running in your VMware vCenter lab. In our particular case, we'll need to delete the OpenStack extensions. So checking down the list, this is one of them. Now, if you click on this particular extension, what you will need from this property page, you will need the key string. So this is something that you need to highlight. In your example, it will be different and you don't need the quotes. You'll also have to go back and right after the methods entries, you have here a couple of options. One of the options is called unregistered extension. Now, if you put the value of that extension and you invoke the method, this is the result. Okay, so let's take another one down from our list. Let's take this VMware OpenStack UI or VMware OpenStack.html. Now, if we're getting the same string so let's copy the string and i think i got everything from here and go back to the unregister extension hit that value html invoke and let's see what we've got now and now as you can see one of them disappeared now again i need to identify those two as well and delete them from our list and after that I'll have a clean and nice VMware vCenter view. Thanks again for watching and we really appreciate all your support. Hit that big thumbs up button or give us a comment. Let us know how we can help. We'll be more than happy to. Have a great day.